Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Vince, and welcome back to Automation the Car Company Tycoon Game. And today, I have a little bit of a challenge for myself. So, I am going to take this old body. This is like a mid 70s body. But if you notice, it's 2022. And if you read the title of the video and saw the thumbnail. So, what I'm going to be doing today is building a modern kind of a competitor to the Ford Bronco. And the main challenge in this is make this body look modern. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. So, if you don't know, the new Ford Bronco is not that good. Well, at least the Sport version isn't. The, F the Bronco Sport is a different car than the Bronco Bronco. The Bronco Sport's just a crossover. It's a Ford Edge. But then, like, uh, the Ford Bronco Bronco is, like, an actual, like, truck frame. So I'm, I don't know what I'm going for. I'm just going to build it. You have to give it, like, a rugged trim name. The Harrison Montana. We got to, like, Harrison Montana, like, rugged butte or something. That sounds stupid. But you know what I mean. It has to be all like, whoa. So I'm gonna put it on a light truck monocoque. And then light HS steel. Or just corrosion. Yeah, HS steel. So and it's gonna be front longitudinal because it is gonna be four wheel drive. But we're also gonna put a V6 in this. We need like at least 400 horsepower. Also, I'm gonna go with the wishbone in the front. But then also. I don't know. Should I go coil or leaf? I guess I'll go. I guess I'll go coil in the back. I mean, it doesn't need to be like super lifted. It just needs to kind of like kind of exist you know or like at least off-road capable so jeep people would be like huh maybe i should buy that so yeah we're gonna put a v6 in this bad boy an all aluminum v6 with dual overhead cams four valve cylinder and an aluminum head and i'm gonna say it's gonna be like a three point something like maybe a 3.7 3.5 basically if the if ford made a version of the pentastar something like that so yeah 3.8 sure what are you talking about? Family capacity, dude. I know how to play the game. Kinda. And we're gonna go with the harmonic da balance shaft, yeah. It's modern. And then let's completely cast internals. Actually, we could go with uh, low friction casts for better gas mileages, I guess, or hyper eutectic. Finally, I, I keep I, every video where I use this, like these pistons, I say thank you to whoever like told me how to pronounce that. Before I was like, hip jib tag kick tick. Hyper? Look, hyper eutectic. Hyper eutectic. I couldn't sound it out for some reason. I guess I'm that dumb. Anyways, um, uh, sure we'll have like VTEC. Why not? You're not gonna be going that fast anyways. Things will be slow. And I'm a per cylinder, sure. And I'm gonna go like, oh yes, per a performance, yes. Yeah, put a performance intake on it. <sighs> God, that's a weird looking intake. I don't know if I like that. And that's even worse. God. Hello, who's I? Who made these? Okay, sure, we're gonna do like the, like the LS intake, or the larger LS intake. Now nah, we're gonna go like a standard one. There we go. That looks kind of strange as well, but who cares? It'll be covered with plastic anyways. Um, modern, and a uh, dual exhaust, I guess, because I mean it is like a V6, so I guess it would be dual exhaust. I mean it would have dual, like, tips, but I don't know if it'd be like a troll dual exhaust. I'm not gonna lie. Ford, actually every brand's been doing that, just not really doing anything of value anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, dying. Why do you, why can you not rev the 6,000? You should be able to rev the 6,000. Please. Um, okay, we can work with this. We can up the compression. Actually, was it running on regular gas? I'm gonna put it on premium. No, I'm kidding. Don't put it on premium. That's not good. People don't like when you can't afford gas. And I guess that's like the only thing that's like important nowadays is gas mileage. You don't want any soul in your vehicle, but I guess most people don't care about cars, so. Okay, now we're good. Can we rev higher? I, I want to rev higher. It's only the Conrad that doesn't want to rev high and the piston kind of, but how about I just like put a little bit more quality in there? I mean, we, we should be able to rev to at least like 6K. Like we're a V6, come on. We're an all aluminum V6. That's not that big. I mean, it's a 3.8. I think there's been V8s in American vehicles that are bigger than that. So maybe I'm wrong. Why does it want crazy headers, dude? That's weird. I can make the exhaust better. Cause I do want like 300, about 10 horsepower, 310 horsepower. That would be good. Cause I, Ford's been doing really good at squeezing like a lot of power out of their like shitty engines. But I do believe it is an EcoBoost. So I guess we're going to do this 
non-turbo or we could do a turbo and just have like a really like shitty like barely existent turbo on there with like smart boost or boost control actually it would just be a waste game you don't want people touching it so what's the problem it's knocking like crazy okay that makes sense since i did just like turbo it which is also probably going to ruin the good gas mileage yay because i don't know how to use turbos ah okay there you go we'll leave it at like 90 we'll leave it at like 90.4 so i have a little bit of room to uh wiggle around there's 310 horsepower Oh, look at that. And we get horrible fuel efficiency. I mean, we only need one turbo, but it's a V6. It would realistically have two, right? Also, they need to be way smaller. Which one makes it better to, like, spool earlier? Yeah. This one. There's 290 horsepower. Also, we, need, we don't need that much boost at all. Like, no boost. I say no boost, but then I brought the boost back up. There we go. Which one gives it better uh, gas mileage, huh? Fuel efficiency. Where's my fuel efficiency at, huh? I don't know how to do fuel efficient turbos. I should, I should probably look at this then. Wow, this turbo is fucking useless up there. Like once it gets up there, it's like completely useless. 292 wow that didn't actually change anything um cam profile i guess get it back up to 300 yeah, that cam profile is way too high with some springs and lifters maybe get it make make it so it makes power up there better or does you want more goddamn exhaust <laughs> oh no a turbo exploded because i gave it a better exhaust Frigid 30 horsepower. Okay. Now maybe I can like neuter it. Okay, no, it needs large exhaust, but it can't be too big because then it'll die. Oh, that's there's your problem because it's one single exhaust. Okay, now can I neuter it? Kinda. Like right there. Now it's neutered. Gas mileage is still ass. But I can just blame that on the big tires that it comes with. Yeah, let's do that. Also, we can up this just a tiny bit. Nope, not really. Okay, cool. Uh, 317 horsepower. Very hot running turbo. Can I fix that? Nope. There we go. That's a better turbo. 345 horsepower. And we got more horsepower out of it. Ah, vibe. Sick. We're cool. Do you want 245 horsepower or 200? Actually, that's a better torque. That's a better power curve. So I guess we'll do variable geometry. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay, there's your engine. I don't know if I like that or not. And we got to use this body and make it look modern. So that's going to be strange. Well, first things first, we gotta kind of like, dude, what the fuck, where'd the wheels go? Gotta make it smaller, make it more square, make everything plastic, more square. I think it's kind of working already, just by messing with this. Sure. Actually, yeah, look at that. That's modern looking. I don't know if that's like an, except it doesn't have like built-in ugly bumpers, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. Kind of looks like it. GMC Jimmy now? I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna be this one. No, I just, I just gotta do everything again. Let me do that real quick. Square. Be more square. Squares are modern. Ah! Squares. Okay. Now it's gonna be... Can't be manual. I mean, the new Bronco does come in manual. Comes in a six-speed, I think. So, I don't know. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be four by four, and then it's gonna be... I don't know. Should I do like an eight-speed automatic or a manual? I don't know. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe of your eyes. Only eeny, meeny, my mo. Okay. Advanced automatic. That's how you do it. Eight speed. Because that's what Ford does. They just slap the goddamn stupid slushy eight speed and everything. Unless it's in the Mustang. And it's, if it's in a Mustang, it's actually all right. But everything else, it's ass. Also, I think they're limited to like 155 or something. 
And we're gonna have like a manual locker that you only lock if you're going like off-road and you're gonna have like chunky off-road tires, uh Or all-terrain tires. Yeah, all-terrain. And they're gonna have to be massive because, I don't know, because people only buy them if they're massive and ruin your gas mileage even more. You know your shitty, shitty truck is gonna get horrible gas mileage in the first place. Ah! This is gonna turn into a rant of me not liking new cars. So why can I not make the tires bigger? Bigger! Okay, whatever, I'll do that later. And then brakes, yeah, brakes are cool. Unless they're not. And then they melt. Okay, uh, solid disc. There we go, two solid- Vented disc, two piston. Vented disc, two piston. I'll mess with the brakes later. And then we can do like an off-road skid tray, whoa. Because off-road vehicle. And then yeah, seats, it has some. And then, uh, I guess, um, what is it, a standard? I think it's like a standard premium. I don't know. Sure. Why not? Uh, power steering, yeah, it has that, all this, yep, of course it does. Optimized weight, yeah, that doesn't matter, it's a Bronco. Ooh, springs. Maybe comfort, because it is good for off-road, but this thing isn't supposed to be off-road. It's supposed to be like a really shitty ride. Because it's like a Jeep type thing. You ever rode in a Jeep Wrangler? How do people like Jeeps? I understand how people like other Jeeps or like old Wranglers, but why the fuck do people still buy new Wranglers? You're not gonna go off road in that. Like I, I, I could see right through it, dude. I could see that. I could, I could tell by the wheels you put on. You're not gonna go off road in that. Okay. Um, brake force, understeer. Who cares? Front tires, very high profile. Who cares? Actually, hold on. I want to check something. How much is this? Forty-four thousand dollars. We've done it. We've done it, everybody. Overpriced and shit. Ten miles to the gallon. Hell yeah. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go design this, and I'll be right back.
You know, that's actually kind of an interesting challenge. It was a little bit weird, not gonna lie. But I feel like, uh, I feel like I did all right. Not like good, good, but I, I feel like at least all right. Like you can still, maybe it's only because I know it's an old vehicle that you can tell this is an old vehicle. Especially don't look, don't look too close at it. Cause there's stuff like this going on. <laughs> and then, other than that, yeah. This is the 2022 Harrison Montana Mesa edition. Oh, it says Mesa edition. I love the new. Thanks to whoever told me that you can literally just use this and type shit in. Nice. So yeah, here it is. And I'm going to go take a bunch of pictures of it. And then we're going to drive it in Beeman G. Maybe do it a little bit off off-roading. Let's see. Okay, here we are on in Utah. Wow, this is a map we never use unless we're off-roading. I guess we are off-roading, so. Also, I just, I just remember this map is actually like really good for like testing cars in general. Like. You got like, you got everything you need. You got like twisty roads. You got like the highway for top speed. You got uh you got Juniper Grove right here, which is what I named my city skyline this town after. Whoa! I forgot that it was called Juniper Grove. I actually didn't name it after that. Okay, anyways, let's go. Let's start it up this V6. Yep. Yep. It's a V6. All right. Okay, let's go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, I already see a problem. I think I might have to go fix that. Cause, oh! Look at that, how the brakes are ass. Okay, now it should be fixed and we can go do stuff, yes. Oh. Eh, okay, it's a little bit better. It's not like, unbearable now. Okay, let's go up this hill first. We're gonna do awesome off-roading. So this is what this car is supposed to be good at, right? And like the Bronco, it's probably going to be ass. Oh, wow, it's actually... Whoa, it's fast. I'm not even hitting the gas that hard. Wow. I guess I did good with the gearing for once. Oh, that was a... And... Uh, okay, that's not really... So I got no, another thing. Automation cars aren't really realistic with, like, with the way their suspension and, like, body flex with uh, off-roading, so... If it was like a real Beam&G car, or I like edited J-Beam files, which I don't know how to do, it would be a lot better. Okay, yeah, that's pretty alright. I gave it a Michigan plate, because Harrison's a, Brit a Michigan brand. I almost said British band. Michigan and England have, like, none of the same anything. Like, yeah, they don't drink tea in Detroit. I don't know what I'm talking about. Actually, they might do. They might now because Detroit's like a hipsterville. All the hipsters wanted to move into where it's dangerous, and then all the danger left and went to, like, I don't know, Baltimore or something. Wow, this is actually really fast. I know I was only going 30 right there, but like off road and accelerating that fast is like whoa. Did we lose our skid plate yet? Nope, we're good. We haven't lost any parts. I like that. Okay, maybe the suspension's a little too stiff now. Whatever. Also, realistically, you wouldn't be going this fast over, like, these kind of bumps. You would literally be, like... Like that, at most. Wow. There we go. Let's see how it does, uh... Just on the road. Kind of handles weird. I don't know how to feel about it. now 
non-existent. Clearly non-existent. Okay, let's take it to the, uh, the highway. Yeah, those brakes are pretty bad. Why is this so fast? Am I going crazy or is this actually like weirdly fast? No, it's fast. They did not go the way I wanted it to. How about a donut? Can we do one of those? Oh, it wants to. Nah, I don't think we can. Unless... We can do this. Yo! Party trick! Disconnect the front diff and do donuts. Wow. I actually like this car a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna take it to the track. The hard part about this is we can't do anything. We can't we, ha we can't turn all the stuff off. Like immediately. I can turn No I, st I stopped the engine! I turned the car off. Here, we can put it into sport mode, whoa. Now, we gotta remember these brakes are actually pretty bad. They're not that bad, but they're not good either. And we understeer just a little bit. Even It is a manageable amount of understeer, though. Now, this is a vehicle I wouldn't expect to be this fast. I keep saying it, but like, I don't think the Bronco is this fast. Or it could be, since it does have like 300 some horsepower and probably weighs a little bit less than this. This one's like 4,700 pounds, as all my cars seem to be. All my cars are a little bit heavier than 4,500 pounds, unless I'm trying to make a light car. Let's see. Brake right here. I'm cooking my rear brakes because they're really small. I I did mess up with the rear brakes. They're like non-existent. Our front brakes are doing all the work. Alright, let's go. Let's see. I feel like this is a really fast lap. One thirty-eight. We're in third place. We went faster than the B three three seventy-seven. We went slower than the Tempest. Actually, that this makes sense. Huh? Wow. Look at that. Good job, car. Very proud of you. Let's see what else is going on here. Is there like a little? We could do a little bit more off-roading. Uh, I think I feel like there is an off-road spot around here, like over here. Nope. I swear there. I swear I saw it in like patch notes or something that they added off-road area. Over here. No, that's just a thing. I guess they didn't. Oh, over here. I was. I'm literally blind. Okay. Let's just take this through here real quick, and then I'll end the video. Oh, there's the entrance. Let's go. We can put it in manual mode. So we have even more control over what the transmission is doing. Okay. 
realistically you would go really slow over this and want a little bit higher right height than stock so I'm just gonna floor it I broke the I broke an axle nice I, at least I can crab now so yeah we would have got be able to got through that we would have gotten through that if I didn't floor it now, a lot of this is more advanced off-roading than a stock uh, Bronco like this would be able to do, so. Ow. My bad. Just crashed into a rock. That's my fault. Also, look, look there's not really much suspension flex. Like in, in like, automation vehicles. But if you like, you take out the roamer, not the roamer, the the hopper. Like the stock version of the hopper has so much more suspension flex. That's the only bad thing about trying to build off-road vehicles in automation, is that it doesn't really work. And like they also kind of bounce like that. Oh my god, what are you a bouncy ball? Oh, you're a car. Okay, whatever. So yeah, it's a pretty good car. I just fucking flipped it. Okay. Until next time, I'm Vince. I'll see you guys later.